I just want to win. That's what they'll always say. They see these people, these incredible players who, who sacrificed everything and worked constantly to improve and be at the peak of their level and gave up almost everything and battled. And really all that was in these guys' minds was trying to win and trying to be the best. They hear the way they talk. They have this logic of, well, if he talks that way and he was a winner, then I'm, I'm trying to play and I'm trying to be good. So I'll talk that way and I'll adopt that mindset. And while the mindset is good, they don't bring with it all the other aspects of it. What they don't realize is that mindset, that philosophy is the end stage. It's the, it's the verbal expression of an actual philosophy of their life, which took place in action, in small decisions that took place every day of their lives to have a hard practice, to put practice with purpose. All the things that went into to it these people haven't studied they've just heard what's said and then they're parroting the same things and thinking if they just try that trying is enough it's not enough the actions that these people people take do not match up like for example they might say that they practice hard okay they might practice hard like the practice might be there and they might play hard within the practice but they do, do they do the hard practice? That's a different thing. Those are the things that are difficult to do. Maybe they're very draining in the amount of time you have to put in or the amount of mental effort and concentration on this practice, whereas you could just let that go a bit and relax a bit more and be half in, half out in the practice and you're there at the practice, you're playing in the practice, maybe you're even succeeding in the practice in a relative sense, you're winning the games or you're doing decently in them, but are you actually applying yourself with purpose? Are you doing the boring practice? Are you doing the practice where all you do is work on the basics that even the beginner learns and you're just making sure these are refined, these are perfected, and then pushing for that extra 1%. That might not seem like much in the context of it, but could be the difference that makes you the great player, that makes you win this next match. Are you doing these things? Most of these players are not. Do it right so that you don't have to spend more time doing it over later. It's the idea that to fix something later might be harder than putting in the initial hard effort to make, do it the correct way now and refine it now. It's about practicing with purpose. It's not about just playing to win the practice or to win a single game. It's about practicing so that you improve and that you get the best aspects of your game to a high level. You minimize mistakes. And then a natural byproduct of that will be success and winning. You don't need to focus on winning the actual game. You need to focus on playing your best and making the best decisions and minimizing your mistakes. Then you will win games. You will win series. You will win tournaments. You will improve as a player. And as long as you're improving as a player, you will ascend through the ranks. It's irrelevant whether you win this game because you can win this game and you can win the next game but will you win the third game when you play the better player who you needed to have all these aspects in full refinement to be able to beat him no you won't because you haven't worked on that that hasn't been a goal of yours your goal was just to win do you dm every day with all the different weapons do you practice your proper technique in dm do you not just go for headshots and dm but in a real game you just spray into the body when you're in a practice game, do you practice the actual strategy? Do you do it in, a, in an off-handed manner and go, don't worry, in the real game, it'll be okay? Well, the way that you practice is the way you're going to play in the game. It's the way you're going to be most comfortable. It's where your habits will be formed. So if you practice sloppily and like a fuckhead, then you're going to play sloppily and like a fuckhead in the game. And then when it happens, you're going to go, that's not who I am. Like, I'm a better player than that. I know my skills better. No one gives a shit, mate. Do it in the game or no one gives a flying fuck what you can do in practice. There was an all-time great player called Potty. He was one of the most well-rounded players in history. He practiced incredible amounts, even in empty servers. He was someone who'd studied the game a lot. He played incredible amounts of hours. He played tons and tons and tons of lands, and he was so clutch and so amazing on land. And so when he went to these CPL events, North American and European ones, the best tournaments at the time, he had something like nine where he made like the finals, or, or won like five or six or whatever it was. And the thing about this guy was, he was so used to being excellent and always figuring out how to get back to that excellent level that there was a tournament once where he went with a newer lineup, tried out a couple of younger players who hadn't had a lot of experience at that level, and it was CPL Winter 2002. And he was used to winning events. He was used to coming top two at worst. And at this tournament, he came third. And his team did well to come third and they had matches where they were out outmatched and outclassed by some of the better teams and things broke their own way at the key point like 11 11 on inferno whatever it was versus the game online team of element and okay he could have said like another player well good tournament new roster yeah we still got third third's good right i remember looking at this guy's face when he was on the podium and he received the third place check and he looked on his face like someone in his family had died because he realized this is nothing I, I have the potential to be a champion. I have been a champion before. I will probably be a champion in the future. What have I done wrong to be in the position where I'm third now? What could I have done differently? Now to other people, they say, hey, relax, enjoy third place. Those are the people who, have, who aren't doing everything to win. They are willing to accept failure. The greatest champions of all time seriously say, the day you win, 
you're jubilant, you have this joy, it feels incredible, you feel all this energy coming forwards, you love your teammates, you love the things you've accomplished, but the next day, it dawns upon you, if you're a true winner, someone who sacrificed everything to be a champion, you realize the next season is going to begin in a few months. And this last season now was amazing, but that's gone. And so I have to now win the next season. And it's that obsessive drive that makes these guys the greatest champions of all time.